you've talked a lot about the values that you have for the company. When it comes to building a team and also having riders that you sponsor, is that a key criteria within someone's personality in terms of aligning with your values with the values of the company? It's, it's a massive part of it. It's a massive part of it. It's like there's... It's really odd. Like the Chris, I've known Chris Oliver since he was 14 and he's... he's what is he, 40 now? So I've known Chris Oliver 26 years and I've known Simon Skip nearly 30 years. Yeah. Uh, it's very much... We've never run the thing on skill. We've run the, the thing on actually you as a person over skill and it's like there's certain there's a certain level of person that I don't know, just you just have to be nice and genuine. You know what yeah. I mean? And without I'm not, we're not interested in attitude. We're really not interested in attitude, you know what I mean? I am this skater I'm not, but it's just like I don't give a fuck who you are. You know what I mean? It's like it's your attitude and actually knowing that there's more to just being sponsored. Mm. There's more to just being sponsored and I think that's where when we come back and when we was coming back and I was speaking to Cy and I said, this is what we're going to do with the CIC as well. He said, yeah, I mean, because like, he was, was Cy like 48 then. He's like, look, man, I'm too old for this. I'm like, well, we want to do this and I need you to help me out on this and to be part of it. And he was mm. like, yeah, if you're doing that, then I'm in. And I think that's, that's why Chris come in as well. I think they're really proud that what we do as well. And they know full well that Cy works really hard on the team and, and getting the team together and stuff like that. Um, and I work really hard with Michelle and the CIC things and then they know before it was the priority was we've done it as a team to take around all the to do the schools and do whatever but this now it's they still work hand in hand but they know the priority is not just team because mm. <clears throat> I do honestly think as well that a team I don't know it's, you've got to why should you just back one individual when you can back 20 kids Mm. It's different in the UK than what it might be in, say, the US. You know what I mean? If you start taking on riders in the US and you start making the person pro, it's a whole new ball game. It's a whole new situation that I'm not sure us as a company, even though we are going into the US, that we want to be a part of. It's a different kettle of fish. It's a different level of money involved. They are classed as a sportsman, and it, 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 there's a lot more to it. The big yeah. agents involved and stuff, and I'm not sure that's something that we want to enter in a way, and, and look, so I don't know if we have to. And I think we are looking at it, so like, yeah, we want to back some riders in America, and, and we are looking for someone at the moment, and I've got a really good friend looking in New York for us, but it's how we, the mentality in the States is completely different to the mentality mm. in, in the UK. And I think sometimes people think, oh, right, yeah, if you're a pro, you're gonna get this, you're gonna get that. And we try our, our utmost hardest to give the guys as much as what we can. And do you know what, I think, Every month they get a package. Every month, all the skaters get stuff. Every month, and they never run out of boards, never run out of clothing. So we try hardest on that. And then, but when people think, especially in the UK, do you think you're going to become a pro and you're going to earn a shitload of dollar out of it? <laughs> no, because do you know what you got is there's not that much margin in selling the boards, and actually you got to sell a shitload of them to to give the person something to live on. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's 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 not attainable in the UK. It might be different in the states, but I do honestly think that there'll be an evolution of the pro model and I think it will change. I think it will have to change because I think some of these people, I think as a company, people expect more from you than just to back a rider. And that's what we're trying to achieve, do you know what I mean? I think to have a team is as important as having the CIC. They have to go hand in hand. And I think if you just run on the back of just the team, then it's a bit one dimension. Mm. And the sport is there for a team of five. And then say, why support a team of five when you can support a team of 50 or back 50 kids on one hand or five individual skaters? So there's, there's got to be a compromise. So I think, I think there needs to be maybe a shift in that a little bit, especially in the States financially. I think yeah. there needs to be a shift in that.